What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. Welcome to How Big Is Kalimdor? You guys loved the Deep Run Cherim video and all of the math that went into that, so I am bringing you another video just measuring out Kalimdor. Now to begin, there were some questions about my math because of the tram. It has some old textures that you could get caught on and there's ups and downs. So what I did is I went outside of Iron Forge and I blinked three times. I placed markers directly underneath myself and I ran that ten times so I could check out my math a little bit better and I actually am showing you the entirety of the map. So let's look at that. So I took my 10 times and I added them all together. That gave me 1 minute, 34 seconds, and 20 frames. And the average time was 8 seconds and 34 frames out of 60. So what I had to do is because I'm using 60 frames per second, I had to divide 34 by 60, which gives me 0.56. So that lets me work with hundreds. So I have 8.56, and it's repeating, so just bear with me there, for the math. So what I did is I did 60 seconds divided by 8.56, and that equals out to 7.00934579439252523 yards per second. Now bear with me, a lot of people were not happy that I was simplifying math. So I'm going to be showing you the entirety of the math here. After that, I took the... 7.00934579, all of that, and I times that by 60, which gave me 420 point a lot yards per minute. And then I multiplied that by another 60, and that gave me my 25,233 yards per hour, with a whole bunch of decimals. And then I divided that by 1760, which is the amount of yards in a mile, and that gave me 14.33 miles per hour. So my math was a little bit off in the Deep Run Tram video, I will admit that. But after that, what we have to do is we have to multiply by our mount speed that we're going to be flying at. Now, I'm in a guild, so I have the 10% mount speed perk, and so that gives me a 420% mount speed, which I means I have to multiply my miles per hour by 4.20 to get our miles per hour and kilometers per hour, because that was another thing that you guys mentioned. So, we are going just about 60 miles per hour, so I'm going to be using 60 miles per hour because it makes the math way easier and bite me if you don't like it. So first what I did is I flew the north to south of Kalimdor. What it was was all the way from the very very bottom point of Uldum all the way to the top of Winterspring. That was the largest I could get into without going through islands. So I did that five times so that I could average out the times. So that was, that took me quite a while. Quite quite a while. The cumulative time for all of those were 62 minutes and 32 seconds. The average time was 12 minutes and 30 seconds. So because we are using 60 miles per hour, it's actually really simple. Because the time is actually the miles per hour that we're going. So if I did 60 miles per hour times 12.5 minutes, that gives us 750. Divide that by 60 minutes per hour, and it, we actually went 12.5 miles. So Kalimdor is 12.5 miles from north to south. That is also just over 20 kilometers. And then I had to do east to west. So what I did was I found the very furthest west, which was on a point in Stone Talon Mountains, and all the way east, which was just a small little piece by Ashura. So I did that five times, and the results were pretty cool. The cumulative time was 32 minutes and 32 seconds. The average time was 6 minutes and 30 seconds. And again, because we're using 60 miles per hour, the minutes and seconds are actually the amount of miles that we're going. So 60 times 6.5 is 390, divide that by 60 miles minutes per hour, and we get 6.5 miles. So Kalimdor is 6.5 miles east to west, which is just about 10.5 kilometers. So what does that mean for Kalimdor? Kalimdor is actually about 183 football fields tall and 95.3 football fields wide. That's also slightly larger than half the size of Denver, Colorado, and for you Redditors out there, that's about 113,142 bananas tall, assuming they're 7 inches tall, and 58,834 bananas wide, which is bananas laid side by side 7 inches because they are slightly over 7 but not quite 8 inches. I'm pretty bad at finding things to compare sizes to, but that is how big Kalimdor is. I hope that was interesting for you. A lot of time went into this, so I really appreciate it if you leave a like and a comment and tell me what you did and didn't like, because I'd love to do more videos like this for you. My name's Nigark, and thank you for watching.